Well, the audio is going to suck right off the bat in this thing because I'm actually uh, making this short little video as I'm driving down the road and I hope I don't get caught by any cops. Anyway, heading into Simpsonville, I'm going to stop in at a jeweler to uh, take these rings and get them sized. Laurie is meeting me there. Just so we can absolutely check and make for certain what they need to be sized to as far as her ring size. So anyway, trying to get everything taken care of for the upcoming wedding and uh, man, <laughs> a lot of stuff to go through. I mean, you know, I understand now why a lot of folks just uh, elope. But anyway, uh, you'll have to excuse me just a second. I'm going to have to put this down a little bit because we got somebody sitting here and not a cop. So we're good to go. Anyway, so like I said, we're headed to uh, get make sure we know what size. Laurie's ring finger is and then we are going to have again these rings sized so that she can actually wear them again I mean uh, she's been wearing them off and on with um, uh, some help let's say there's a little thing that she puts on the engagement ring so that uh, sizes it down a little bit for her so she can wear it, but uh, we don't have anything for the band itself because it's so very thin. So actually, even though I've been claiming she's my wife now for years, um, you know, uh, we're going to make her legal. Yep, going to make a legal woman out of her. So anyway, just trying to keep everybody updated, so y'all keep your fingers crossed that we're going to be able to get these rings back before the ceremony. I think we will, though. Um, these folks are fairly reputable, and they've been turning stuff around in just a couple of days, even though they say a week. So we'll see. Um, but anyway... I, I, I got one one question for you though. Did you get your coffee this morning? I had a whole pot of coffee this morning. Of course, that's pretty standard. Once in a while, I'll have a pot of coffee in the evening too. But. Uh, Ain't all that often. Usually one pot a day has uh, has enough get up and go in it to keep me got up and went. Anyway, you'll have to forgive me while I'm sitting here watching all the traffic hoping we don't run up against any cops because I will get a ticket for doing this in the car while I'm a driving. But anyway, you know, I, there's something else I was just thinking about the other day. I was noticing that about every time you turn around, at least in this area, the weather forecast changes. I mean, it can even change from five minutes ago to five minutes from now. And it kind of put me in mind of well, I'll just tell you this real quick story. One day I was, when I was living out west, I was actually living in Cheyenne, Wyoming. It was going to be a nice day, no weather in the forecast other than sun. So I decided, well, shucks, I'm just going to ride my bicycle to work. And um, 
Now, I won't go into why, but I did not have a car available for when I came back from lunch. But when I came back from lunch, I had to even take my jacket off and leave it at work. And I get home and, you know, had, had to, all the drapes pulled and everything, turned the boob tube on, watched TV while I was eating a bologna sandwich. And then, you know, here it is, just... Oh my God, this time I got to go back down to work. You know, I only lived about eight blocks away from work, so it wasn't any kind of a major bike ride. I opened the front door, and there's an inch and a half snow on the ground. And I'm sitting here thinking, well, this is great. Somebody else has got my car, because I decided... Being a dummy, I'm gonna ride my bicycle. Let me tell you something. Weather in certain parts of the country, especially like on the eastern slopes of uh, real tall mountains like the Rockies, the Tetons, the Sierras, that weather is so totally unpredictable, you literally, if you don't like the weather, just wait a half an hour, it's gonna be different. So anyway, I get back to work on my bicycle, and the boss is laughing at me. All the employees at the store are laughing at me. Why didn't you just drive your car back? I said, well, somebody else is driving it right now. So I kind of either had to walk or ride my bicycle, and I figured I'd be colder for less time if I rode my bicycle. Well, that afternoon, or that evening when I got off work, I actually had to have somebody come pick me up and my bicycle. So, you know, I guess I shouldn't complain about the weather changing, or the weather forecast changing out here so much, but, you know, out here, if it rains, it rains. If it's going to get cold, it's cold. If it's hot, well, I'll just stay in the air conditioner. I don't care. Because I got a good percolator and I can percolate me some good tasting coffee. So, anyway, that's all I got for now. Y'all, go and get you some coffee, especially if you hadn't had any already. I got to go get this ring stuff taken care of. So, like I said, y'all just go on, get you some coffee, and we'll catch you on the next time. Go on!